This is Mind Over Magnet. Uh, this was the game created by Mark Brown uh, of Game Maker's Toolkit. If you haven't heard of Game Maker's Toolkit, uh, I don't believe you because you're watching my channel and my channel is very tiny and his is one of the most prominent gaming channels on YouTube. Uh, he's basically this j games journalist who's made a career out of like hyper analyzing how games work and making video essays that uh, sort of explain things so well that uh, a lot of game creators, professional game creators, use them as inspiration and use them to help them understand their own craft. I've, you know, I do that plenty of times. Uh, and so the thing that's crazy, though, is there is sort of a, a, a sense you sometimes get that it's easy to sit back and criticize things. Um, and it's very hard to just make new things from scratch. And uh, and so sometimes, you know, a little bit of the uh, friendly rivalry that arises between game developers and game journalists is that, you know, sometimes uh, game developers will look down on journalists a little bit, little bit and be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's easy to criticize stuff, but you couldn't do what we do. Mark Brown put his money where his mouth was and he decided to make a game and uh i gotta say like i haven't played the game yet i don't know if it's good i don't know if i like it i don't know if it's for me i don't care i'm thrilled that he did this i think this is great i mean if if you want to really you know write insightful things about video games make a video game and you will understand everything so much better so i'm thrilled that he did this i'm, I'm gonna try it out and uh yeah I'm going to try it out with zero expectations. I know it's a puzzle game about magnets. I've watched a couple of his videos about uh, how it came together. But I haven't watched everything. And I didn't have time to participate in any of the uh, early stuff, so... Okay, my guy is looking back and forth, and he's sad. Oh, no. Okay, so A and D to move. And by the way... Notice the little subtle things he's doing. He jogged the camera a little bit to the right to show you that that's the direction you're meant to go. Though now I'm like, okay, hold on. What if there's something to the left? I think I should probably put my head up here so you can see on the Oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's no secret behind the waterfall. Okay, whatever. It's fine. We'll go right. Woo. Oh, just barely dodging these drips. <gasps> hey, look, that's the title of the game. I had already intuited that spacebar was jump. Not sure what my cursor is for yet. Now, it says I can click to use objects. Okay, so if I just click, it doesn't matter where the cursor is. I'll use whatever my character is near. Okay, so if I turn this switch on, magnets, I imagine, lift that thing this non usable cursor is going to drive you all crazy oh ooh i can ooh hold to jump higher okay ah i can drop that on the spikes collect the key oh oh and that instantly unlocks it i'm wondering he talked a little bit about how he tried a lot of different ways for things like this to work. I'm wondering if there was a version of this where you had to actually transport the key physically. And eventually he just cut to the chase and said, when you find the key, the lock goes away. And it's that simple. Okay, so if you time this right, you can ride this thing like an elevator. Notice it moves faster when your weight isn't on it. That is a factor I didn't expect to matter. Usually when platforms are lifted around in in games like this, their speed isn't affected by you landing on them. Okay. For a second I was worried that I made a mistake. I think I'm probably fine. Oh no, oh no, wait, wait that's too fast. Can I make it there fast enough? Ah, no, I can't! All right. No, wait. Can I... Hmm. Hmm. I know what to do. Okay, okay, I get it. So that is interesting and all, but 
What I actually want to do is imprison it first, turn on the magnet, and then from this side, release it and ride it up. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. I like that there was an intuitive series of things to do that looked like it would work and the timing didn't work out. And I had to get out of my initial assumptions so that I could solve the real problem. Okay, so what happens here? So this turns on. I love that a heart represents magnets. And then a diamond represents this. Okay, so what I need is... What I need is for this one. This is what the cursor is for, is so I can stream, like, uh, so I can make a video and demonstrate to you what I'm thinking of. Uh, and actually, sometimes having a cursor helps me to think about things. So I've got this thing here that needs to be out of my way, but this one needs to still be here. So I need to trap this up above while this stays down below. Now, can I just start and stop this at will hmm I can okay so we'll let this one up but then do that and then I think this works yes I really like the music by the way okay so that can be raised up but I need it to fall down again before I can cross it. So I think what I need to do is drill it, catch it, and then is this a thing I can... Okay, how does that work exactly? Did I jump? No, I clicked, okay. Okay, so what I need to do is start this thing. What happens if I, uh... that's what I thought? I just kind of needed to see it for myself. I think that worked. Okay. So I... Is this some kind of... Different kind of exit? I can turn the magnet off. I can ride this up. I can make this drill go across. What I need to do is... Catch this thing with the drill... Yeah, okay, this sh should be straightforward, unless I'm missing something. The drill only goes part way, is that important? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. I knew it wasn't gonna be that simple. Okay, what I think I might need instead is to elevate that, catch it with the drill, and then let it out and ride it up. So is that some kind of special ending? Like, have I reached a new tier of progression. Oh my gosh! Hello! I'm in a bit of a bind. Can you help me down? Absolutely. Oof! Thank you, free at last. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Magnus. Of course you are. Hey, can you do me a favor? Huh? I work in the factory above this sewer, and I'm super duper late for my shift. Reckon you could take me to the next floor? Hmm? Great! Let's stick together then! Onwards and upwards! Now, I remember he went through... Uh, I remember him talking about going through a lot of iterations when it comes to 
like how you manage the magnet like how connected to the magnet you are like are you the magnet do you have to leave the magnet places do you have to throw the magnet so it'll be interesting to see oh we got a special magnet plug now it'll be interesting to see where he landed okay so um ah so do I just need to leave Magnus there? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Go on ahead. I'll catch up. All right. Cool. Okay, so we're allowed to leave Magnus behind. Oh, he just gets sucked into the pipe. That's what that suction effect on the pipe was for the whole time. It's to justify being able to leave Magnus behind. Because... Imagine if he didn't do that. Imagine if you had to get Magnus to the end. Now, we do have the magnetized plug. So that he can do levels where you do have to get Magnus to the end because Magnus is the way that you open the door. But he's not requiring that. But yeah, just imagine if every time you reached a door and would normally be sucked through and the level would end, you do that interaction... But then arbitrarily, because Magnus isn't there, the game says, nope, you've got to go get Magnus. And it like it feels like kind of a, I don't know, kind of cheap sometimes. I I'm betting that he tried a version where you always had to have Magnus at the end and you could leave Magnus behind. And I'm betting it was a mess and people didn't enjoy it. And I'm betting it changed a lot of levels when he decided to do it a different way. That's my guess, just from what I have heard about you know the process he went through. Okay. So, I can ride this up with Magnus. But I have to abandon him. Okay. Oh, catching him feels feels good somehow. That was particularly satisfying catching Magnus. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I've got to leave... If I want to leave him behind... Because if I just left him here, he'd leave without me, and then I would not be able to get the key. this. I'm betting that was a bad idea. Hmm. No. Hmm. I don't know if I can... Okay, so I could. Okay, that's what the arrows mean. You can go up through this, but not down. Okay, so what do I actually need to do? What I need to do. So, what happens if I pull this switch? Basically, either this one is up only, or this one is up only. And the other one is always passed straight through. So I want to be on top of this when it's in this mode so that I can get through this exit. That, no, that's not crazy. I think I could just do it, right? Can I just do it? Okay, yeah, that, I expected that to be like a, um, fox chicken and grain scenario where you're like have to finagle a bunch of things but no you just have to get it into the right position all right cool um okay so a weight resting on this we'll turn that on a weight resting on this oh uh, okay so it naturally wants to be this okay so i need to have a weight on this 
when I cross this boundary. And this will switch this between up only and down. So I need to ride Magnus up. I need to... What? Now, is there a way... Okay, so right now, I can almost... Okay, okay, I think I... Now, can I... Oh, I can't bring Magnus up with me. Okay, so I need to... Okay, so I need to elevate Magnus like that. He lands on this. I jump. And then I move Magnus so that he will fall on this. And then I drop him and immediately give myself some space. There we go. Woo, there he goes. I like he always makes it at just the very last second. <laughs> Come on, we're almost there. All right. This doesn't seem hard. Uh, this seems harder. We've got spikes. Okay, so I can just ride this up, right? But now I've left Magnus behind. And I'm betting Magnus is important. So, what happens when I do this? This will elevate Magnus. Can I, like... Yeah, I can jump that with Magnus. Alright, so let's put Magnus here. But we don't want... Like, I don't want to jump to do this with Magnus because I bet I'll hit those spikes and be... Oh! Oh! Alright, I gotta time this just right. So you gotta release it just a little bit early. Okay, so now, I wonder if I can figure this out in the abstract. So we've got this thing that I'm realizing, by the way, that so he's deliberately made this accessible by tying both colors and shapes to everything. So if you're colorblind, you can still see this as clubs and spades. But if you are not colorblind, then you can tell these are blue and brown. Blue and brown is a little bit easier for me to read. Um, and so it's useful to have, but the shapes are also there. So this, if I flip it, will elevate. And this, if I flip it, will extend that. And so what I need to do is be holding Magnus when I step into this and then be caught on the drill, I think. Now, can I interact with things when I have him? Yes. Go, go, go! Um, by the way, one thing I haven't experimented with is what happens when I'm actually impacted by the drill. Like, will the drill hurt me? Is that why it's a drill? Will it hurt me from the side? I don't know. Maybe this is the big, like, sequence ending. Oh, there we go. Entering World 2. That was the special exit. Guys are so cute. Heating up. Ah, welcome to the boiler room. This is the heart of the factory. It powers all the machines here. But please watch your wheel. This place is dangerous. Hey, do you have a name? No. Not to worry. I can make one up. Let me think. Well, you only have one wheel. So how about... How about Uni? Sure. Uni it is then. Hi, Uni. Anyway, this is my floor. Just a few rooms to go. 
Let's keep moving. Wee. By the way, I was not expecting these uh, these guys to have like voices and character. I expected this whole thing to just be just straight up puzzles. It's kind of fun that he added that element to it. Okay, so let's guess what happens in the fire level when you pull this. Lasers. Okay. So I love that noise. <laughs> I'll do it again. Oh, that's great. Okay, so now what happens if I have him over my head? Ooh, that tingles. There we go. Okay, so I can just do that, and then I can leave him on that. Okay, so showing me how resilient he is. That's cool. Um, however, I don't think he'll protect me from this side. Oh, sorry, I'm pretty tired. Um, okay, so I need... I need to turn off this laser. But when I turn off that laser, the drill happens. So maybe what I need to do is... You know what? I wasn't thinking straight. I'm very tired. <laughs> By the way, notice when you drop him, he doesn't have any momentum. He just he hops up into the air slightly and then falls straight down. That's I think that's intentional, so I couldn't do things like toss him into the path of a laser. If a laser's coming up from below, I have to turn the laser off, off in order to drop him onto it. And now, okay. This is going to be the annoying part. No, it's not. It's not going to be the annoying part at all. Because this is where he belongs. Right here. I thought I was going to have to time... I wonder if anybody has done that. If anybody has successfully timed him rising up the left column. And going up just during the window where he's blocking the laser. I'm going to check my phone for a sec. Nothing, just regular old school texts. All right. So now we've got the heart, which pulls that up. And then we've got the diamond that pulls the other one up. And I need to get Magnus across. <sighs> All right. So how does this work? guess if I turn that on okay so the problem is if I try to carry Magnus across this thing then he will get killed and I will also get killed so that means that I somehow I somehow have to I mean this is dumb I somehow have to leave him here Right? But unfortunately, if I die, everything resets. What are these for? Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to actually fall down that. Um, what are these guys for? They're for something. Okay, so I can cross. Oh, I know. Okay, so I turn that one on. And now... I don't need that one, so I can drop him here. Nope, that's wrong. Do that one, and then turn this one off. No! Dang it, okay. So he doesn't have momentum when you're trying to throw him, but he does have momentum when you're just trying to navigate.
Okay, we got a laser to the left, laser above. And he's up here, along with a bunch of garbage. That's what you are. You are garbage. Okay, so I can get him down here if I want to, but do I want to? I mean... Yeah. Oh, the laser. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know what to do. So I need to grab him. Go under the laser. Turn that thing on. Bring him back. Get him above the platform and then drop him. And that lets me through. All right. So we got a laser that's off. And a big gap. So my only thing I can do, oh, is everything. This does, okay, how does this work? Ah, so the diamond is on the sensor. The laser hits the sensor. So when I turned this off, that laser eventually blocked, I mean, this drill eventually blocked this laser. So does that mean... So at the same time that the bridge comes up, this laser turns on and this blocks me. So I can't do this all in one move, but I can at least get past the laser, then go across. Now I got Magnus and Magnus can now block the laser. But, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Okay. This did not change anything. Okay, so what I need, what I need is for him to be here and to go up. Basically, I need to, okay, have him there when I push this. Because then he will rise up. Hmm. So yeah, somehow we need to make this exact thing they, like uh, we need to start in this configuration but with me on the other side of the laser because if I turn it on then he will get magnetized upwards the drill will retract but he will keep blocking the laser but probably there'll be a window where the drill retracts I can cross again he'll block the laser which means the bridge will stay but because I've flipped the switch up this drill bit will be gone. So the question is just how do I get into, how do I get him here while I'm to the left? It's like, can I run there and back in that time? I can't because this is blocking me. And it is death below. Is there any way that I can, like basically anytime this bridge is here, this laser is on. So leaving him here, leaving him here requires this bridge to be up. That means that having him here requires this laser to be active. Is there any other way that I can have him be magnetized? Hmm. Because, yeah, I think if I go left through this laser, I get killed. Hmm. I mean, let's try it. Yay! Because whatever. All right. Wow! Now, wait. What happens if I dive off with him? Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is exactly what I was thinking. That was the solution? Okay, so like, historically, I've... 
I feel like I've learned that athletic solutions are unlikely to be it because they've done things like making sure that, you know, I can't huck him by driving forward and releasing him. And so I wasn't even thinking about athletic solutions, jumping off something at the right time. Okay. So now we have two lasers. And if both of them fire, or if neither of them fires, two drills are here. So what we need is for the bottom one to fire and change this drill, but for the top one not to be active. So what I guess we need, I think we need this. No, okay, we eventually need that. But not yet. All right, here we go. We'll set it back to normal. Then I place him over here. Drop the guy. Oh wait, oh, that's wrong. Put up the drill then. There we go. All right, so now we've got two magnets and he is trapped. Okay, so if I turn on this magnet, eventually both rise. happens if I oh right okay um, and I don't think I can jump over I can jump over that one but not this one so somehow I need to have this bridge in place but this thing gone I don't think I can push it that we'll get no why why do I keep doing this ah okay this is how we get him down but it's not how we get any further okay so now I could just jump across if this thing was shorter. So we need to have some way to get this thing up, but not the base. I've got a theory. So we raise both. Oh, no, 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 no. I did it wrong. Okay, okay. We start with this one on, and then we turn this one on, and then off again immediately. I feel like the names of these levels have been a countdown. It was like it take is like two and then one and then terminal. We're here. Okay, let me log into my terminal real quick. Logging in. Employee ID Magnus. Contract terminated. Wait, what? Thank you for your employment. But due to improved automation technology. Your services are no longer required. Please collect your things and leave in an orderly fashion. Logging off. I just got fired? Ooh. This can't be right. All my friends work here. Hey, that's an idea. Let's go find Min. She should be on this floor. All is not lost, Uni. We'll figure this out.
Okay, so this diamond thing is being kept in place by this laser. So you need to somehow block the laser. So sending Magnus up this would work. Will Magnus slide down this? I think he will. So I just need to drop Magnus here somewhere while this is on. And he'll fly up and block the laser. If I do this, I can move the block out of the way. And then, yeah, so I need to drop him and then turn on the clubs real fast. Nope. Oh crap. Yeah, that didn't work. So I can't just turn it on in advance because then I'm blocked by that drill. I wish there was some way that I could like set him up. Like, okay, so let's try this. Let's try running up, dropping him at the very top. Yes. No, did not have time to do that. When a particular strategy is not going to work, you have to make it really clear to the player. And, and you notice that I didn't just barely miss that. I missed that by a lot. So it's clear that that's not supposed to be what, it, what, what happens. So is possible I could get the drill to release him? I think is there a way to get Magnus up high well that didn't work oh my gosh okay I think this timing might actually be right. That's nuts. That was pretty good. This one's called Wait For Me. Magnus is over here. Uh, I can go flying up to this level. And I'll just fall down. I hit the hearts, that'll turn these on. I can't pass up through the bottom here, though. Magnus can, but I can't. Now, why do I need Magnus exactly? Because I can turn that on. I need Magnus up here to rise through this. Okay. So Magnus does need to be there. I imagine I could have him come join me. But I delayed a little bit and that messed it up. So let's try that again. This time without me messing it up. All right, so we extend the drill. And actually, I think I should put him as close to me as possible. Nice! I like when Magnus comments on things that are going on in the, in the level. It makes me feel like, I don't know, he's pretty, he, like... It makes him feel like a character, like he's actually there in the room with me and he's, you know, reacting to what's going on. But it also, it's nice and reassuring when, like, if Mark Brown was able to detect the event and associate dialogue with it, that means that I did what he expected me to do. It's confirmation that I'm solving it right. And that also feels good. Um, 
Okay, so I can drop Magnus. And I can... Okay, what happens when I do this? Okay, so that... Oh. Interesting. So there's this brief moment where you can pass from right to left. Or from left to right, sorry. You can always go back, though, so if you mess up... Okay, so how am I going to use that exactly? I can go get Magnus... But I can't. I can't get all the way to Magnus. I can only pass. So, hmm. Now, if I open these and then drop these, they block the laser and leave the doors open. Okay, and it takes a while for the ball to come back. So basically, if I turn them off and then run. Okay. Now, what if I have enough momentum going? Okay. No, I am not meant to do it this way. How am I meant to do it? Because if I go over there right now... Obviously, I can't reach Magnus, and I need Magnus to get out. And that just puts me back to normal. Hmm. And this doesn't work because he's up there. that works about this scenario is they all take turns blocking the laser. So the laser stays open longer. Is there a way that I can slow them down further? Like if I somehow got Magnus over here to participate too but if I could get Magnus over here I could get Magnus over here and win. So Magnus can't be part of this solution. Because if I if I can get him, then I can just go over here. I don't need to do anything else. If Once I'm over on this side and I have him, I'm done. I feel like I want to try this one more time. Okay, let's look at the timing of this. So the timing's kind of perfect. But I don't need it to be continuous. Like, is there a way for me to have some of these blocks on top of their platforms and some of them not? Like, what if I've got this? That was the wrong button. Let's try this again. Nope. Okay, so what if we do this? Yes, so rearranging the blocks gives me just enough time. Wow! That was clever. Cool. All right. Okay, so standing on that... Oh, it's got a delay to it. Hmm. Huh. 
works. You can turn it off immediately, but it comes back on. On its own after a certain amount of time. I think one thing I need is for turn back on and we get the key. Okay, so what I think I need to do is get between these two things. There we go. That was timed so I could just run straight through, which is, I like those little extra touches. Like when, when you make it so that running straight through actually is the most efficient way to do it. You don't have to do a bunch of waiting. I feel like a lot of time and care goes into getting the timing like that right. Okay, so if I hit this, they're all temporarily on. Oh, I thought it would time from when I released it, but times it times from when I touch it. Okay. Okay, yeah. So and and this is why that didn't work. So as soon as something lands on that. Oh yeah, okay, I know what to do. I'm, I'm doing it badly right now, but I know what to do. Not like that, that is not what to do. Try this one more time. If I leave him behind to land on it again as soon as the trap door is open, then I can cross the second bridge. What am I doing? Sorry, I'm extremely tired. This is what I needed to do. There. This is actually what I thought I was doing before. I think it's just sleep deprivation. <laughs> it's addled my brain. Okay, now what? Um, we got lasers that are controlling these drills. And I can open that so I can catch that thing. I wonder. It's not what I meant to do. So I, I'm assuming, yeah, that I just need that platform to drop. So I think I'm going to put Magnus on this. Okay, so that pulls back, and I can put the laser back, and that's fine. Okay. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Wow. That felt good to get on the first try. Okay, so now we need to somehow block this one for long enough okay so I turn that off set Magnus where Magnus needs to be then turn this on and turn that on Oh, I almost squished myself. Okay. But now, I think to get the key, I have to get Magnus back. So that means... Turn off the magnet. There we go. You got it! F 
fork in the road. Ooh. What's up there? Min, hello. Oh, hey, Magnus. Whoa, hey, what's with the tin can? You mean Uni? He's my new friend. Friend? Didn't you hear? We've all been fired and replaced with those things. Automation, they call it. What? <gasps> that can't be right. Uni's been helping me. Oh. Well, it's the truth. Come on, Magnus, let's get out of here. Wait, what about Max? We can't leave without her. Ugh, you're right. I was gonna check the engine room, but I can't get there by myself. Well, this is perfect. Uni can take you. He'll show you he's a friend. Yeah. Whoa! Watch where you're putting your hands, okay. All right, I'm only doing this to find Max. I'll meet you on the production floor. Don't forget about me. Okay. Oh, I can't pick him up. I was going to say, I thought maybe there was something I could do with him too, but no. So I think she ignores this. But I'm betting she's pulled up by the red. So they're basically opposite pole magnets. She gets pulled by the red stuff. Ugh, wow. And now we're entering world three, but it's been nearly an hour and I think my brain is too tired <laughs> to continue. So, um, I'll have to pick this up later, but, uh, this is really cool. I, I gotta say, like, this is the kind of game that you would expect from Mark Brown because of the, the sheer amount of time that he's put into an analyzing puzzles specifically and how they work. Um, he's come up with a lot of great things here where, you know, you, you can see like there's there's some interesting misdirection. There's a way you assume you have to do the puzzle first and then you learn by failure, you know, what, what is and isn't possible. And the puzzle communicates with you effectively about what is and isn't possible. And then as you eliminate possibilities, um, a surprising solution emerges that you didn't see before. And you can almost see, feel yourself being sort of like led through a series of thought processes to have that sort of epiphany that makes you feel really good about a puzzle. So uh, he learned the lessons uh, really well done. So uh, congratulations to Mark Brown making a cool game. And uh, congratulations to me because you just pushed my subscribe button and that makes me really happy. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Here's some links, whatever.